According to the Los Angeles Police Department, they were prepared to arrest Will Smith for battery right after he slapped Chris Rock. However, as we all know, that never actually transpired, so stick around to find out why. In a preview clip for an upcoming interview on Good Morning America, Oscars producer Will Packer claimed that the LAPD told Chris Rock that they would be happy to remove Will Smith from the audience and arrest him for what just happened. Packer recalled them saying to Chris, We will go get him. We are prepared to get him right now. You can press charges. We can arrest him. Will Packer went on to say that Rock was very dismissive towards the police though, but he kept telling Chris to just hear the police out before making a final decision. The producer went on to say, They were laying out the options, and as they were talking, Chris was being very dismissive of those options. He was like, no, I'm fine. He was like, no, no, no. The Academy also issued a direct apology to Chris Rock and admitted that they could have handled the situation better. As for a statement to Deadline.com, a spokesperson said, The Board of Governors today initiated disciplinary proceedings against Mr. Smith for violations of the Academy's standards of conduct, including inappropriate physical contact, or threatening behavior and compromising the integrity of the Academy. They continue by saying, Consistent with the Academy's standard of conduct, as well as California law, Mr. Smith is being provided at least 15 days notice of a vote regarding his violations and sanctions, and the opportunity to be heard beforehand by means of a written response. At the next board meeting on April 18th, the Academy may take any disciplinary action, which may include suspension, expulsion, or other sanctions permitted by the bylaws and standards of conduct. Adding, Mr. Smith's actions at the 94th Oscars were a deeply shocking, traumatic event to witness in person and on television. Mr. Rock, we apologize to you for what you experienced on our stage and thank you for your resilience in that moment. We also apologize to our nominees, guests, and viewers for what transpired during what should have been a celebratory event. Things unfolded in a way that we could not have anticipated. While we would like to clarify that Mr. Smith was asked to leave the ceremony and refused, we also recognize we could have handled the situation differently. Ultimately, the real reason that the police did not immediately arrest Will Smith is because Chris declined to press any charges. However, the police did say a statement on Sunday that if the involved party desires a police report at a later date, LAPD will be available to complete an investigative report. A source close to Will Smith also confirmed to the Sun newspaper that he and his lawyer are going to be writing to the Academy to plead his case in an upcoming hearing. The source goes on to say, Things are hanging in the balance. He will write an official letter to apologize and effectively beg for their forgiveness. He is also expected to hold a call with show bosses in the next 24 hours. April 18th is D-Day though. He will find out if he still has an Oscar and quite possibly a career. What's interesting though is that the more I read about the situation, the more confused I get. You see, Will Packer claimed that Chris had spoken with police and declined, but then an insider told the New York Post, no one ever asked Chris if Will should leave. They never consulted him. It was the Oscar producer Will Packer who made the final decision to let Will stay. The witnesses then claimed that Packer actually walked up to Will and said, we do not want you to leave. So all of this stuff that you're hearing now from the Academy about doing their best to make him leave is a load of BS. They're only doing that because they saw how the public reacted to Will not being asked to leave. In that moment though, they were as fake as Hollywood gets and tried to make sure that he could stay for the remainder of the show. I doubt there were even any emotional outbursts from the Oscars president David Rubin and CEO Don Hudson like everyone had been reporting. I'd love to hear your thoughts on all this though because that's all the time that we have for today. So stay classy and I'll see you on the next one.